What's going on, soldiers? This is the Game Hunter channel with a new episode of Call of Duty Heroes. I don't recall which episode it is, but uh, things are doing okay. I was, I think you guys remember, I was able to upgrade my headquarter finally. Um, I was fighting to do that. It was a little bit difficult because I didn't have a chance to to play for a little bit. But finally, I was able to get to command center level six headquarter. I keep saying headquarter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, there's so many games and they all have different names the, the anyway command center headquarter Whatever you want to call it is uh, final level six. So I was able to upgrade a couple things I'm trying to upgrade the, the the plumbing yard, but so far I'm running a little bit low in oil So we're gonna probably go through a couple of attacks. I'm not really sure yet what I want to do I think I'm gonna probably upgrade the machine compound uh, so I can get the next uh, unit, but this is the surprise of this episode. We have Harper Harper attack damage of 50.8 Damage per second attack rate of 4 attack range of 7 accuracy of 100 critical chance 20 move speed 2 and camouflage 10% It's a really cool hero Okay, there is uh, between Harper and soap. That's all you need you compare with the with the previous uh, heroes that we were using at the beginning, um, there is really not really a comparison. I mean, the even the skills, the special abilities that they have, the care package, the AMP grenade, are, are superior. I mean, you, you can't really say anything, right? The care package is this one is a healing rate ninety per second. The care package of Harper is hundred and twenty per second, and this is level two. Hmm. Hold on a second, really? Healing rate 160 per second for only 9 seconds. Okay, performing a range of 6. Uh, the range of the care package of soap is 7. So there is some minimum differences, but um, so far I believe these two are the best, best, best heroes so far. Okay, I know that Ghost is going to get released in a few more days, the next patch. So I can't really wait. And I really need to start upgrading and get some medals and upgrade my, uh, my heroes. So probably in the next episode, we're just gonna play survival mode and see if we can level up one of these, level up one either a Harper or Soap, because that's completely, completely necessary. Um, let me see what we got. Okay, 24 plus 12 point. I'll take that. Let me see. We can probably get ready and we can probably head to the battlefield and get a couple attacks. Yes. Looking for gold. Looking for oil because um everything is so expensive this game that is that is one of the problems all right let's analyze this base i got uh i can see that the guardian guardian tower on the left is um under construction that is good i can probably attack from that area how it's in the middle a couple of machine guns but the, the level of the machine guns are not that great so it shouldn't matter we can put a couple of snipers because the sniper remember has an extra range so it is a no-brainer that we can use the snipers to bring down the resource buildings in the meantime, right? As long as they are out of range of the how it's served, we should be in good shape. And this is something that you can do even if you're not gonna destroy somebody's base. But if you notice when you're searching for an opponent and you find a base that uh, has a lot of resources building in the outside, Get some sniper, man. It's still all the resources. That's all you need, right? I mean, it's not about metal. It's not about reputation. It's about uh, be able to grow. And unfortunately, we need a lot of resources. Okay. So we deploy, deploy soap and Harper. A couple of AGRs. A group of AGRs in there. See if we can bring down that hero that is protecting the base. And here comes the joggies. Joggies, joggies, joggies. They should be able to take care of business. Um, let's see. Probably we need to get closer. Um, see, we can use the care package to heal our troops. So far, they're doing okay. All right, let's see, we can make a hole in here. Yes, and those heavy sentry guns are not that high in level. I uh, can't really tell you exactly which level they are, but uh, they're not that high. So we should be in good shape. Let's see if we can build Harper to the middle. See if we can push a little bit and see. If if we can destroy the hero uh, building in the middle, in the middle, otherwise the hero is gonna get regenerated. Uh, we might need to kill him again, <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. So I'm gonna try to use both of my heroes, aiming at the. Um, there you go. I will do a game over, my friend, and here comes more 
There you go. Now things are completely out in control. Uh, and the good thing about deploying the, the snipers first, the sniper is one of my favorite troops in this game. Uh, I like the juggernauts because they're intimidating. I mean, they really scare people when they walk in a line with a big riot shield. It's just insane. But the sniper is so useful because, you see, we were destroying all the resources building when all the the fire of the i mean all the the attacks of the defensive buildings were focusing in the juggernaut and the agrs so the sniper have freedom right there to do whatever they want and they can steal resources quite 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 fast okay so i would recommend you to get to get familiar with the sniper le learn the range of the sniper uh, upgrade your snipers and then put them on practice okay remember you don't need to win every fight you can go and attack somebody just for the resources, okay? It's called farming. <laughs> and that is really common in these kind of games. It's a bunch of dog tags. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. So far, we did quite, quite, quite okay. So we stole... Yeah, we stole all the... All the loot, and here we go. See? All my juggernauts doing the breakdowns in there. Uh, we have 90,000. Not too bad. And 84,000 of oil so the in, in order to um move ahead in this game you have to attack okay you have to do farming you have to go and attack resources it's really difficult just to grow with your resources building even if they're high level uh, a lot of people are going to attack you okay i receive attack like at least three times four times during the day sometimes they just attack me to destroy the the um, the resources building they have outside the perimeter of my defensive buildings so you can do that the same all right so let's get another army ready agrs and you go a bunch of joggy joggy joggies some snipers again i believe this is one of the best combinations i mean it's, it work, it's working really really good to me so i'm gonna continue using this one um i want you to Tell me in the commentary section what is your favorite hero so far? Not because of the skills, okay? I'm not talking about the the, 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 the attributes and anything like that. Just tell me of all the heroes um the Call of Duty heroes, what is the one they like you the most, okay? Because of what that character meant to you in that Call of Duty game. I don't know if you play Call of Duty. But yeah, it's a very, very popular first-person shooter. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, okay? So let me know which one is your favorite character. That will be that will be cool to know. Uh, and I think that the, the the audience for these videos are growing and growing, and that is really cool. I, I wasn't sure if the Call of Duty is again that is going to be that strong. And this is the 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 next vehicle. I'm sorry, that's the next vehicle I want to un unlock the RD1, which is um. Primary Tiger friendly human units and it's a uh, target type ground and it's a healer basically. Okay, so I really would love to have that healer, but having Harper and Soap with care packages is the question is do I really need a hero? I mean, do I really need a healer? Is that really necessary? Eh, probably not. Probably we can just upgrade the technology facility and get some extra levels in the AGR. Right, that's um, you say that's stuff that you have to you have to stop by for a second and think about it. Well, what is better for you? Unlock a new unit or probably upgrade the units that you already have. My AGR right now level four and they're quite quite powerful. Uh, but I, I don't know, maybe maybe I can go for another level, right? Instead of trying to go for the RD one healer bot. Okay, so um, let's see if we can get something, somebody interesting in here. Oh, talking about oil, right? Interesting. Not a bad base, and there's plenty of these bases. Okay, so don't get don't get crazy about the the reputation points and everything. Just just get an army that make you feel comfortable for raiding. So do some raids, just steal resources. That. Probably the best, best, best that you can do. Let me see. I'm gonna try to put a sniper in this area. Yes, out of reach of everything, and I can and I, I can attack that gold mine. That is good. Let me see over here. I'm still out of range. That is good. See, once that you get familiar to the range of their units, you shouldn't have any big problems, right? So now we can deploy the 
the rest. Ooh. Bad. That's a hero. That's no good. The hero's gonna kill probably all my snipers. So, but anyway, my, my snipers are already doing some kind of damage. So, let's deploy first the heroes because they can take the heat better. In case there's some anti infantry mines. And here comes. Here comes the crowd of uh, Juggy Juggy Juggies and uh, a group of AGRs. We're doing pretty good so far. Let me see if I can move. Yep, there we have curve package coming. And, and and this is like a having a double size army because uh, they regenerate extremely extremely fast so I'm not really sure if this is something that is gonna get probably nerf in the next um, in the next patch but I believe the special ability of uh, regenerating 90 points per second and the other one 120 it's kind of a lot right so I mean I'm not complaining I'm using it a lot so <laughs> for now I'm gonna continue using it so in case they decide to change that in the future, at least um, that's not going to affect me that badly, right? So, so far we're doing okay. Let me see. I'm going to put another curve package in here because some of my juggies were ready to go down. Um, and remember, you can you can use your ability a couple, not only once. You can use it a couple times during the same battle. But the problem is that every time that you use it, the next time is going to cost you more in resources. So... Yes, it's careful, careful with that. Resources? Skill points, I believe there are, right? And remember, we get those points every time that we destroy a building. Not a wall, but a building. So, that's why it's so, so important to play PvP. That's critical! And I guess we are, yeah, we are in good shape. The only problem is that I don't have enough a uh, unit to steal all the resources. But at least we were able to bring down the base we got one star ready hopefully I just tried to get as much re as many as many as much resources as I can and the snipers are a little slow so probably I might need to get more snipers in another video we're gonna do some special attacks okay so if you got something in your mind if you want me to try one combination of troops something like that just let me know put in the commentary section and we're gonna take care of that in the future okay so far we're doing just fine but it's almost over six more seconds oh we got two stars which is great this is still a lot of um oil that i couldn't I couldn't get mm. that's bad that's when you miss the the shopper gunner right you can use the shopper gun as the last resource and uh, <laughs> and destroy some buildings if if you need them like in this case i needed that i needed those uh, that oil uh, that's gonna help me a lot all right so let's see we can see if we can get ready on uh, this attack yeah let me see we got a couple of uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna use some drag dragonflies and some agrs a bunch of uh joggy joggy joggies um maybe a group of snipers uh, maybe one less that should be okay and let's go probably it's gonna be the last battle of the night i'm not really sure we'll see um, I'm still think I'm still thinking at this point. What should I upgrade? You see, I can upgrade probably the howitzer, or we can upgrade one of the research compound. This is a quite expensive sentry gun. Everything is extremely, extremely expensive in this game. Um, I'm sure you know, you guys are more than aware of that. But this is what I'm trying to build right now. I'm trying to build a laser tower, laser turret. I'm sorry. Quite, quite powerful. Especially if you already played during the campaign, you notice there's a couple mission with some laser turrets are protecting the enemy base, and oof, yes, painful. <laughs> so um, that's when I want to get one of those. That that will be a good, good, good addition for my for my defense. But I need more space. Oil depot need to be expanded because I don't have enough uh, storage to get the one point almost 1.5 million of uh, of oil right so that's will be the next mission my next mission will be to upgrade my oil containers oil storage and then we can move ahead and get the the laser turret that was, that's gonna be sweet sweet this is a bunch of units I haven't unlocked yet especially mechanical units so we'll keep an eye on that one for the future 
videos. Let's see, we're gonna attack from this area. A couple of snipers. Ooh, yeah, howitzer is still in range, which is not good. No bueno at all. But if we know, if I don't know if you guys notice, but I can see it from here. This is the same tower, the anti air tower is all by itself outside the base, which is a huge mistake. Okay, people are still not used to receive attack with um, air units, right? But uh, it happens. So you need to defend those SAM towers, you need to upgrade those SAM towers. So right now it was so easy, I was able to bring down the SAM tower real quick. Let's see, we can probably put the care package in there to keep my joggy joggies and AGRs alive. And now it's so easy because now I can just deploy a bunch of dragonflies and they are completely out of range of the guardian tower, the howitzer, the sentry guns and everything. The SAM tower is the only one that can bring them down, and uh, they can't do anything at this point. <laughs> I mean, they're completely, completely invulnerable right now. They can do whatever they want until we get to the other side. But by then, I'm assuming the juggernauts are gonna, or the AG, um, AGRs are gonna be able to bring down the other SAM tower. And actually, that's what they did. See, right now we can take care of the rest. Really good. The dragon flanks are scary. That is scary. That is one of those units that they're. At the beginning, you're like, okay, well, I can't really use it because they die extremely fast. But once that you grow, once that the deployment chart is expanded and you can have more units, but trust me, it, it is it is quite useful. You can have some units in, in front of that little juggernaut. You can have the AGRs. Um, and then in the background, ew, all of a sudden you have a huge group of dragonflies taking care of all their resources buildings. They're really good at attacking resource buildings, so no complaints whatsoever. I think we do it work pretty good. And the snipers are a little slow, so I might need to either upgrade these guys or start deploying a little bit more because it's taking forever. But um, look at that; those dragon fights were so so y useful in this episode. That's what uh, I mean. This this battle. That's what I wanna wanted to try them a little bit, so we can mix. I don't want to just use juggernauts in my attacks. I don't want to use like a attacks of all the AGRs. Uh, we need to find a way to to use the rest of the troops and find out what is which one are the pros, which are the cons of each of the troops. And right now, we I just show you that that dragonfly is quite effective. If you use it at the right time, right? I think we're gonna get another hundred percent, which will be awesome. Get some more reputation points. There you go, victors hours. Not too bad, not too bad, Tristar. Yes. Look at that speed. Soap is almost ready to go to the next next level. Wow. I really need to upgrade my <laughs> my heroes. I feel so bad. All my heroes are level one, but it doesn't really matter. I just hope there is another like a special event so we can get extra XP. Uh, by the way, if you're playing right now, remember this is a resource bonus event between January 14 and January 19. 20% extra bonus on gold and oil oh, for PvP matches. Your first 10 matches of the day. So this is a time when you really need to sit down and go through a couple attacks because it's, uh, you're going to receive more points. Right now my alliance unfortunately is full. The alliance called the Game Hunter with four subscribers of the Game Hunter channel is back right now. So I'm sorry about that. I hopefully will give you some more, depending if we clean the alliance in the future. But so far we're doing okay. And again, don't forget like, subscribe, share my videos. This is the Game Hunter signing off. Take care, everybody.